JT here, JT's Gear Garage, and I am late to the party. I uh, don't have social media anymore. I fucking hate it. I hate Zuckerberg. I hate the left, um, especially what's going on in this world. But Alicia Kitt, I just found out about this this week, a uh, woman tased in Ohio for not wearing a mask, tased in front of her kid at her own school function. This world has gone to shit. Keep in. We're going to roll the intro and get into this. Hey, so what's happening, JT? JT's Gear Garage here. And, um, you know, man, I'm writing some killer music right now. I'm selling some really fun guitars and amps through the uh, website. But really, I, I just, there is no music right now. There's no tours. There's no, there's not anything to talk about with music. So something that I have done in the last year and it's not because of haters. Honestly, I love haters. I, I wish people would hate in the comments on this page. And I wish a few of you would share this page with others so we can kind of start getting this ball rolling um, with this YouTube channel. But I'm not gonna join Facebook and, and support Zuckerberg to do it. The guy's a total fucking leftist capitalist. Um, and I just don't support him. I, I you know. I get it. We don't know of any other platforms. They've tried a few. Um, they just haven't worked, but it is what it is. Anyways, let's get to the topic at hand. We're going to go to the basis on Logan, Ohio. Logan, Ohio, I guess, has said it's okay for, uh, you know, uh, rent -a cops that work at schools can manhandle and tase women in front of their children. A woman was not wearing a mask. At what point are we going to start realizing like all of us and I'm right wing. A lot of people that are going to tune into this are going to be right wing. I don't care if you're right or left. I don't care if you're libertarian. Why do you think a mask is anything that's going to save you? And why are people self policing? I was almost, I was harassed and threatened to have the cops called at an Indian reservation. Um, out here in the Southwest. I didn't know I was on the Indian reservation. I was actually riding my motorcycle across the state the other day um, because I have my own business now and I've made way past my sales goals to have to worry about working for a little bit. <clears throat> so I was like, I'm riding the motorcycle as far as I can. So I rode the Honda Shadow way out into the desert and um, was uh, threatened by, like this Native American woman flipped the fuck out on me. And I just stood there and I said, you, you can't actually do anything to me. And she got really angry. It made her even more angry. She started screaming to have her manager come. There was nobody in the store. All I wanted to do was walk eight feet into the restroom from where I was standing and take a piss. And because I didn't have a mask on, I guess it's a big thing. Also went up to uh, Cave Creek area, which is supposed to be patriotic, badass motherfucker biker land. It's not patriotic at all right now. And um, the mask thing, I don't know who the fuck's stepping on you guys' toes or making you believe that the masks are something you really need to enforce. You're the one area in this fucking state that shouldn't be enforcing that shit. And I don't know why you are. You're putting yourself down. You're making your employees fucking nuts. You're taking tips out of their pockets because people aren't tipping for shit, I'm guessing. They, the, the attendance is nil. I don't even know why I went up there the other night, but it's a mess. So the mask thing is a mess. Let's do this. We've got a few minutes in now. We're about three and a half minutes in. Let's chit chat about what's happening with um, Alicia Kidd. This is the woman who was tased in front of her kids at their baseball game the other day. And what kind of world do we live in to where the mask outside has anything to do with somebody being able to watch their kid play sports or not? We've already lost music. We watch baseball and baseball has got fake uh, cardboard cutouts of what people look like in the stands. And, I, you know, it's just unbelievable to me. So I do have some actual facts instead of my opinions, and then we'll get more into my opinions. Um, so this is Alicia Kitt. Her name's Alicia Kitt. She recently, and this is uh, 
October 16th today. She recently has pleaded um, not guilty to a misdemeanor charge and the charge is not anything to do with a mask. What does that tell you? They're not charging anybody with not wearing masks because there is no mandate really legally to tell you to wear a mask or not. Some of you don't know that. And some of you are buying right into the fucking mouth of the beast. You're just sheep and lambs flocking to the slaughter, man. It's, it's so sad. So this woman has pled not guilty to this misdemeanor. I got this by actually talking to one of the reporters at the um, Logan Daily News today. There hasn't been anything um, on YouTube because I don't, like I said, I don't do any social media anymore. I think social media needs to get a little bit more right wing, but right wing in a way that people don't know it's right wing. So it slips through the cracks, just like the leftists did with all the Facebook and Instagram shit. I would join Instagram. I would join Instagram. I love boobs. I love nature views of hikes that people do. I um, love bikinis. I mean, everything that's on Instagram totally applies to me. Guitars, cars, motorcycles, boobs, butts. Uh, I think it's awesome, but it's owned by Facebook. Zuckerberg, you're a fucking faggot and I don't support you. Um, so uh, I guess this uh, officer is named Chris Smith. I don't think a lot of people know that because you're not going to see it in much of the news except for what I found on the Logan, Ohio Daily News. Um, and says that at the time, that week after he was put on restrictive duty, I have no idea if he's on restrictive duty. Um, so that was the first week uh, that I know that he was put on restrictive duty. I don't know what the status is. You can't find this stuff very easily. Um, the other that I found, and this is great, I just donated to it, uh, James Mead, M-E-A-D, has a uh, GoFundMe page for the woman. I don't know if the woman needs it. I don't know her financial status, but I tip strippers at bikini drive throughs when I get my coffee, 20 bucks on an $8 coffee, you know, because you don't want to tip cheap when people are half naked, man. So if I can tip for somebody half naked, I'm going to tip for somebody who got tased in front of their kid. Doesn't that make sense? Anyways, um, so yeah, I donated to that. Um, uh, there is a great video out of the woman's ex-husband fully supporting her. And like I said, this, you know, I'm late to the game. This is all two, three weeks ago. Um, but I hope that this video actually gets out and people have a little bit of an idea where this is um, with, you know, th the news on this, this happening because it seems like it was kind of swept under the rug. Breonna Taylor people have talked about for fucking... I have no idea. I don't even know when that happened. I, I don't pay attention. All I see is the riots when I turn on Fox News on YouTube, you know, because Laura Ingram's fucking hot. So that's that's what sucked me into, uh, you know, watching uh, the news on YouTube through Fox. But I agree with Fox's points, and I think that leftists are absolutely stupid people. It's really unfortunate because somebody's political leanings shouldn't say anything about them. So another happening, let's get into uh, two of my faves who are battling it out. Um, I play Stranglehold in cover bands when I play music, and I also play uh, Wild Side, I play uh, Dr. Feelgood, I play um, uh, Kickstart My Heart, but I guess we've lost Tommy Lee, man. I He is fully gone to the left. He, from what it sounds like, hates Trump, thinks he's one of the spearhead people of Black Lives Matter. Man, if I could only tell you how people don't want to hear your fucking points. And he went off on Ted Nugent. Do I love hunting as a sport? No. But do I hate the fact that um, Ted Nugent does hunt? Do I hate the fact that Ted Nugent is an NRA member? No, I do not. I fully support somebody who learns how to use their firearms. I still have much to learn in the tactical range. Um, and I enjoy learning it because it teaches you how to utilize something that can save your life, but it teaches you how to utilize it correctly. When you take gun laws away from people, you get California. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna say be safe. I'm going to say, just be you. Just take off your fucking mask. I would say if you've got 10 friends that feel like 
they're going to support you. Go to your local grocery store. I don't wear them to the grocery store anymore. I'm very lucky to live in what's a very red part of a red state that's now turning purple, unfortunately. And man, the purple people have come here that have pissed off the people in this state. <sighs> California, could you just lower your home prices for one week so everybody moves home? And then jack them back up for the idiots that fucking think they really are getting something out of living there. Anyways, peace out. Keep rocking. Keep buying my guitar equipment that I sell online. And uh, love you guys. Peace out. <laughs>